Mark Noble slams Joan Cuba's attitude problem after angry bust-up. West Ham were cruising after Javier Hernandez and Andre both scored excellent goals to give the Hammers a 2-0 half-time lead. But they threw it away after that with Luka Milivojevic pulling one back from the spot and Wilfred Zaha snatching an equaliser deep in stoppage time. Noble was furious West Ham failed to hang on and then had to be pulled away from Palace midfielder Kaba after the Frenchman refused to shake his hand as the pair left the pitch. The Hammers skipper said, I have played 400 and something games for this club and I've had many battles with many players. I've always thought you can have 90 minutes of a battle. You can kick SHT out of each other really, but you always shake hands with each other after. That's my point of view. It was his attitude. I didn't really like his attitude. That's why I had something to say. If I'm honest I wasn't happy how he went about things and as I've said you battle with many players over the years but afterwards you always look each other in the eye and shake hands. I've always thought you can have 90 minutes of a battle, you can kick SHT out of each other really? But you always shake hands with each other after West Ham star Mark Noble Palace felt they should have had a penalty in the first half for a foul by Jose Font on Zaha, but stormed back after the break and would have won but for a string of saves by Joe Hart. The West Ham keeper has had his critics but boss Slaven Billick said. He is England's no one goalkeeper. The only way he can make the critics shut up is by playing like this. Hart branded his side unprofessional for blowing a two goal lead, and Noble revealed there was a heated post match inquest after big mistakes were made for both of the home side's goals. Angelo Obana's clumsy foul on Andros Townsend gifted the Eagles a penalty, and the way Michael Antonio cheaply gave away possession for Zaha's last gasp equaliser was criminal. Noble said, what happens in the dressing room stays in there. But of course stuff gets said. Otherwise there'd be no point being in there. I'm not going to stand here and dig out our players because we're going to need them in the future and their top players. But today we gave away a two-goal lead. A lot of it is common sense. We've been in this position enough now. We have to learn to see games out. As you can tell I'm really disappointed. A couple of moments really killed us. You've got to dig in. This feels like a loss. The games don't get any easier. We've got Liverpool at home. Our last game at home we weren't good enough. We need to be better on Saturday. Next up for Palace is a trip to face Spurs at Wembley, where Andros Townsend scored on his England debut in 2013. The former Spurs winger said, I have done well there in the past and hopefully next Sunday it can be another good game for me. They are a good side but we go there with no fear. Everyone knows from a Mauricio Pochettino side you are going to get a lot of running, a lot of effort. They are top of the physical stats but they have got a lot of quality as well, with or without Harry Kane, and we need to be wary of that. Crystal Palace, 4-4-2, Speroni 6, Ward 6, 
Sako 60, 6, Dan 4, Tompkins 5, Van Anhalt, Fossumensa 12, 6, Loftus Cheek 5, Milivojevic 7, Kaba 7, Schlieb 6, Zaha 8, Townsend 7. Subs, Hennessy, Delaney, Kelly, Punchin, Rye Duwald. Up next, Tottenham, A, Premier League, Sunday West Ham, 3-5-2, Hart 9, Ogbana 5, Calyote 5, Font 5, Rice 76, Zabala 6, Antonio 62, 6, Fernandez 6, Noble 6, Lanzini 6, Cresswell 7, Maslaka 46, 6, 8, Hernandez 7. Subs, Adrian, Arnautovic, Carol, Obian. Up next, Liverpool, H, Premier League, Saturday referee, Robert Madley 5 your turn, which Moroccan striker scored when Palace last beat West Ham at Sellerest Park, 1-0 in December 2013. Star man, Joe Hart spectacular star shocker. Scott Dan poor match rating, 3.